Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, a free site. BettingAngle.us, a free site. Let's give some last-minute thoughts on Jose Carlos Ramirez versus Josh Taylor. Unification match at 140 pounds between two unbeaten guys. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now I don't get it. In the comment section of this video, tell me what I'm missing here. If I were the odds maker for this fight, I would have Jose Carlos Ramirez as the favorite. Understand, even if I thought these two fighters were equal, the fight is happening in Las Vegas. Josh Taylor is going to have to cross the Atlantic, then cross most of the United States to fight in Vegas. Right? If I thought the two fighters were identical twins, but one was from the United Kingdom, just the fact that the fight is in the United States would have me shading toward Jose Carlos Ramirez. But it's deeper than that. Right? In my opinion, Ramirez has the better resume. Right? I know Josh Taylor fought Regis Progre, right? Excellent fighter. But understand, Jose Carlos Ramirez has beaten another guy I want you to key on this weekend. Jose Zapata. I'm not convinced. That Ramirez, who also beat Victor Postal, right, and Zapata aren't the two best in the division. Right, so understand sometimes great fighters exist but don't have the spotlight on them. We don't hear a lot about them. I imagine. We're going to hear a lot about 140 now that Gervonta Davis is coming up to the division and, in my opinion, is going to face turbulence. Ramirez is going to bring the heat. I believe he hits harder than Taylor. Ramirez is going to be trying to collapse the pocket. The best punch in this fight, in my opinion, is going to be Ramirez's left hook. Right? Forget location. If these two guys were fighting in a neutral place, I would be leaning toward Ramirez as the favorite in the fight. So you could imagine how lost I am. How I feel like I'm in Wonderland to find out that I'm getting a former United States Olympian. Right? The guy, by the way, he lost to in the Olympics goes on to win the gold medal in a later Olympics. Right? I'm getting an Olympian who's unbeaten, who has more fights than Josh Taylor. And somehow the casino is giving me greater than two to one odds now. Right, I saw the early line, plus 200, I grabbed that. I thought, oh man, how could the casino be this foolish? Now the line's up at plus 215. Right, it's as if the casino knows something I don't know. Maybe that's true. Tell us about it in the comment section of this video. But understand, Ramirez doesn't have a padded record. This is a guy who has fought many tough guys. He's a legitimate champion. Understand too, Ramirez, his left hook is the best punch in this fight. I know on his back foot, Josh Taylor has great skills. Right, Josh Taylor, great footwork. The problem, though, is Josh Taylor, the fighter, right? When the bullets start flying, and folks, they're going to start flying. 
Ramirez is not here to dance for 12 rounds. Ramirez is going to stake out his territory. He's going to come forward. He's going to try to cut off the ring. He's going to try to bludgeon Josh Taylor's body. Right? Both guys, by the way, know how to go to the body. You see, that's the problem Taylor has. When a fight breaks out in a boxing match, Taylor starts fighting back. Right? Taylor's boxing discipline falls apart. If I thought Josh Taylor was savvy enough to stay on his back foot, to pepper Ramirez with jabs, right, to keep distance, to not get deep in the pocket with him, to not be offended the first time he's hit hard in a boxing match where, as Ray Robinson famously said, it's the hurt business, right? You know Taylor's personality. He needs to be alpha. So when he starts getting cuffed around, because that's what Ramirez does, Taylor's going to throw boxing out the window. <laughs> He's going to start trading with Ramirez without the artillery that Ramirez has. I get that Ramirez at times is so into his own offense that he lets the other guy hit him. Right now, maybe that would matter if he were fighting Jose Zapata, who hits harder than Josh Taylor, in my opinion. Right? Zapata's fighting Hank Lundy this weekend. Watch that fight. Understand, Ramirez and Zapata already went head-to-head. -head. Ramirez is still unbeaten. Josh Taylor, in my eyes, doesn't hit as hard as Zapata. If he gets lured into a slugfest in the pocket, I don't believe he's going to be as fortunate as he was against Regis in the UK. Right, so understand, <clears throat> this is one of those rare fights, in my opinion, where the guy who should be favored is somehow a two-to-one underdog. Right? I have a pre-fight video up. The hedge I'm recommending is Ramirez to win. Folks, you're getting a plus 200. You don't even have to be clever here. You, you don't even have to say, well, how's he going to win? By KO? By the disc? You don't even have to be clever. You're getting a plus 200. Just take the better fighter, Ramirez, to win the fight at plus 200 and hedge with the over. This way, if Ramirez wins late, you win both halves of the bet. It's a bonanza. It's time to say, honey, grab the kids. We're going to the restaurant. It's on me this time. Right? Let me also say, too, Ramirez has been in with bigger punchers than Taylor, right? Ramirez is unbeaten. That should tell you that Ramirez has never been stopped. I believe Taylor, his only chance of winning the fight is to win it in the later rounds, either by decision or by late KO. That's how I see it. Right? So the hedge is the over. In other words, I don't even have to worry about the decision. Once we get past the over, you're, you're congratulating yourself. You're high-fiving the people around you. Right? They can announce whatever decision they want. As long as it's the over. Then the hedge will hold. But just to understand, in my opinion, this fight is mispriced. I believe what happened is that Terence Crawford, who became undisputed at 140, left the division and then we left with him. Right? It's kind of like the cruiserweight division where Usyk leaves the division and we leave with him. 
But there were some damn good fighters left in the division. Right? Jose Pedraza fights at 140 now. By the way, Zapata beat Pedraza. Right? Understand, Ramirez has already beaten Zapata. There were some good fighters left in the division. I also want you to look at the number of fights Josh Taylor's had. Folks, not that many. He's going up against a guy with more professional experience, who, of course, was a decorated amateur. There simply is no way that Josh Taylor should be going off as a favorite, much less the favorite he's going off at. So I like Ramirez here. We'll see what happens. To those in the UK who follow my videos, folks, there is boxing outside of the UK, especially at 140 pounds. I believe UK fans are going to be watching this fight and they're going to be thinking, who the hell is this guy? It's going to be the fifth, the sixth rounds. They're going to see Taylor fighting for his life. And they're going to wonder to themselves, man, I don't get this. Why did I lay such dear odds when the guy was going up against an unbeaten champion? A former Olympian. A guy who's fought more fights than Taylor. So I think this is a mispricing. This is a fight that's a must watch. I want people to realize that Jose Ramirez is 28 years old. He's in his prime. He's openly talking about moving up to 147 pounds. Openly. And as you know, 147 is loaded. Right? Errol Spence, Manny Pacquiao, Terrence Crawford. Virgil Ortiz, right? Jaron Ellis, Ennis. 147's loaded. Just understand, Ramirez believes he can hang at 147. Mentally, and I know the guy comes across as low key, easygoing, and stuff like that. Those are the guys to worry about. Right? He has a bit of an Evander Holofield personality. Right? Where guys are talking smack and, you know, he just kind of like looks and, you know, doesn't really get faced and stuff like that. Like Holofield. Understand, this guy is always prepared for fights. If this guy gets to 147, it's not to avoid the big names. So mentally... He's looking at Josh Taylor as a stepping stone. Right? He wants to be in the ring with Terrence Crawford. Not Josh Taylor. I think he's going to be ready for this fight. I think the world is going to be astonished. I think the secret in gambling is sometimes the casino gets it wrong. Actually, I think what's really going on is the casino reads the lay of the land, understands that far more people know Josh Taylor than know Jose Ramirez. The casino's just interested in getting the same amount of betting on both sides of the play and leaving with the VIG. What a shame that the public doesn't know more about Jose Carlos Ramirez. They will after this fight. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.